In our last episode, Sandokan and his men barely reached their ships in time to escape an attack led by Baron William and the Commandant. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sandokan tricked us. While we were making our assault on his fort, he and his men were escaping. Yes, he fooled us, all right, but he's not free yet. If you look at this map, you'll see that there's still a way to stop him from getting away. His ships will have to sail slowly till they get through the narrow passage at the mouth of the bay. Yes. So if we leave now, we'll catch him as he reaches open water. To the ships, men! On the double! Yes, sir! You, take a few soldiers and go back to the fort. Guard it well till we get back. Aye, aye, sir. Tell the men to go back to the ships. Mm-hmm. Well, Sandokan, your plan worked perfectly. We all got away without a hitch. No. Hmm? We're not safe, at least not yet. Uh-huh. Why do you say that, sir? Because we have to sail slowly till we get out of this bay, and that means Baron William's ships can still catch us if they set sail without delay. I see what you mean. Let's just hope Baron William doesn't figure out he still has us at a disadvantage. Hmm. Oh, he'll figure it out all right. He's clever, Malco, and he'll do whatever it takes to catch us. Steady as she goes, Jerobatol. Yes, sir. Let's hope luck is on our side. Baron William will do everything in his power to stop me from returning to my beloved Mariana. <sighs> well, hello there, Kitty. Do you miss Sandakan too? I'm sure he'll come and see us very soon. Be patient. Grim that mainsail, men. Until we get out into open water, we're still in great danger. Don't worry, Annis. I'll see to it that these men get all their work done. Rock! <laughs> Quit your lollygagging and trim that mainsail, men. Look lively. Steady as she goes, helmsman. Keep a sharp lookout for sunken reefs. My two ships are ready to set sail, Baron William. So am I. We'll catch those pirates yet. Right, men? Right! <laughs> <laughs> Sail up the west coast of the island to the mouth of the bay, then attack those ships from both sides. Excellent plan, Baron William. Of course it is. I came up with it. Now then, let's get underway. As the ships of Baron William and the Commandant race up the island's coast, Sandakan's vessels continue to sail slowly through the waters of the bay. Sandakan himself is in command of the lead ship, while the second ship is commanded by Yanez. We're out of the bay at last, Sandokan. Shall I give the order to raise all sails so we can get up to full speed? Not yet. Yanez's ship is still coming through the passage at the mouth of the bay. Let's wait until we're sure they've made it to open water. Right. How are they doing back there, anyway? They're sailing smoothly. They should be clear in another moment or two. Say, Yanez, I have good news and bad news. First, the good news. We just cleared the passage at the mouth of the bay. <laughs> Fine. What's the bad news? There are enemy ships on both sides of us, closing fast. Uh-oh. Looks like Baron William's two vessels over there. Hmm? And those two ships are from the Rajah's fleet. Raise all sails, men. We're going to run for it. Huh? Very good work, men but the enemy ships are still closing in. It'll take a while for our ships to get up to full speed, and meanwhile, the enemy's closing the distance between us every moment. <laughs> huh? No need to worry. I'll take care of everything. Watch! <laughs> No, Malco, it would be pointless. We're outgunned by the enemy. If we try to fight, it'll only slow us down. Our only hope is to try and get away. Uh, huh? Huh? That was almost too close for comfort. Don't worry, we're almost out of their range. Look out! Oh, uh, uh, 
Feels like we've taken a hit in the hull. Malco, go below deck and check the damage. Right away, sir. The enemy ships are closing in on us from both directions. They've got us hemmed in. We have no more room to maneuver. Think we should stay and fight, Yanez? No, we're heavily outnumbered. They defeat us. Fire! Look out! Oh! oh. 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 Good shooting, men! We broke one of the pirate ship's masts! Now's our chance! We're going to ram it and capture the crew! The lead pirate ship has sailed out of range, but the second one has a broken mast, and there's confusion on the decks! We're going to ram it amidships! If the Rasher hears about this, I know he'll reward me handsomely! I'm sure to get a medal. The other ship has a damaged mast, Sandal Can. We're in luck, sir. The cannonball hit us just above the waterline. If it had hit us a foot lower, we would have gone down like a stone. We'll still have to make for land and repair the hole. That is, if we can survive this attack. We will, but I'm not sure about Yanez and his men. Look, they're surrounded. They're going to be rammed from both sides. Faster, Yanez, faster! You can get away if you have more speed! This is going to be close. <laughs> hey, what's going on? The enemy ships are bearing down on us. Ooh, I'm not sure we'll make it. Brace yourselves, men. This could get pretty rough. <laughs> Hang on tight, men. If the enemy ships miss us, they won't be by much. Pirates are ours at last! Prepare for the collision! Ha-ha! <laughs> the moment of truth! Sail faster, Yanis! Faster! Faster! Look! They did it! They escaped the enemy ships! <laughs> <laughs> Those blasted pirates escaped, and now we're heading straight for the other ships! We're on a collision course! Helmsman, take evasive action! Starboard, hurry! Baron, you mean if you'd stayed out of my way, I would have caught those pirates! Huh? Yeah, the one who got in my way! Come on, man! It's because of you the pirates are still free! Because of me? Oh, no, you're not pinning this one on me! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Yes! I can hardly believe it! Yanis and his men managed to get away! <laughs> they did it! <laughs> By the time Baron William and the Commandant have stopped blaming each other and turned their vessels around, our ship should be long gone. Yes, Shira, but we still have a problem. We have to repair our damaged ships immediately. I know where we'll do it. The island of Pangutare. <laughs> but there are Diakos living on that island, aren't there, sir? You're right, Shira huh? Vital. But my friend Tremolnik has a fort there. He'll give us the lumber we need to repair our ships. And if the Diaco natives decide to cause trouble, what'll we do then? Well, Zero, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, signal Yanez. We're heading for Pangutarang. Then it's agreed, Baron William. We'll stop blaming each other for the pirates' escape. At least we captured their fort here on Montpresum. I'll leave some men here to guard it in case Sandokan returns. Excellent idea, Commandant. Uh. The pirates may still be free, but they no longer have their fortress. I still can't believe that we allowed them to get away, but they won't escape next time. They certainly won't. I must leave now and make my report to the Raja. Please give my respects to your future wife, Mariana, sir. Mm. These are dangerous waters, men. We must keep an eye out for the Diakos at all times. The fortress of my friend Tremalnik isn't far from here. He'll help us to make our repairs. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble ahead, Sandokan. I just spotted some Diakos. They're in small boats, headed this way, and they look mad. Here's a telescope, Sandokan. See for yourself. We just got here and we're already under attack! There's a single man in the lead boat. He's paddling very hard, and now he's waving his arms. I'll bet he's the Diaco leader, egging on his troops. Let me put a hole in his boat. That should slow him down. Wait, Patan. That man's not leading the Diacos. He's fleeing from them. What's more, I know that fellow. It's Tangusa, Tramalnik's trusted second-in-command. What's he doing alone in that little boat, though? 
He won't be alone much longer. Those Diakos will catch him soon. Oh, no, they won't. Not if we can help it. All hands man the guns. There's no time to lose. Aye, aye. Aim behind, Tangusa. Give the Diakos a scare. Now. Ready? Aim. Fire! That's it, men. Keep firing to assure Tangoose is out of danger. Thanks. Sandokan, sir, am I glad to see you? I was sure I was finished. Yes, Tangusa, it's a lucky thing we happened to arrive when we did. Those Diakos didn't look very friendly. <laughs> Come to think of it, they still don't look friendly. Let's make sure they don't get any ideas. Give them a scare, men. <laughs> Be it, That'll keep them from giving us any more trouble, at least until we have Tangusa safely aboard. A thousand thanks, Prince Sandokan. You saved me from capture by the Diakos, but Tremalnik and his men are still in danger. You see, the Diakos have laid siege to our fort. Tremalnik needs your help desperately. It shouldn't be long before the Commandant returns with Sandokan and his men in captivity. Oh, what a pleasant thought to have those troublesome pirates in chains at last. How I'll enjoy the look on Sandokan's face. When I have him brought before me in irons and tell him to beg for his miserable life, and if he begs very nicely, I'll allow him to live out his days in my dungeon. <laughs> I showed those pesky diacos a thing or two, didn't I? Did you see the looks on their faces when I said, beat it? Why, they were so scared, their teeth were rattling and their fur was standing on end. That's crackers for you, taking credit for everything. Well, I don't like to boast, but I did scare off those diacos all by myself. Sure, and I suppose our cannons and rifles had nothing to do with it. Of course ah. not. Your pop guns are nothing compared to a mean green parrot. Well, anyway, I'm grateful to all of you. I had left the fort in a desperate attempt to find someone who could help us against the diacos. And just as I was about to be caught, there you were. How did you know we needed help? We didn't, Tangusa. We came here to Pangutarang, hoping to find refuge and make repairs after being attacked by the forces of Baron William and the evil Raja of Sarawak. We knew nothing of your troubles. But now that we know, we'll be glad to help Tremalnik repel the Diaco attack. But why have the Diacos laid this siege? Has my friend Tremal done something to provoke them? No, he is a man of peace, but the Diacos are greedy for territory. They have laid siege to the fort in hope of destroying our settlement and gaining control of the entire island of Pangutarang. We have held out for nearly a month now, but supplies are running low, and if the siege goes on much longer, Tremal will have no choice but to surrender. That is why I left the fort. I had to find help for our settlement. I sneaked out under cover of darkness and stole one of the Diaco's boats, hoping I would be able to slip away unnoticed. But of course, they spotted you. That's right. One of their guards saw me stealing the boat, and soon there were a dozen of them after me. I found this in the boat, but what good is a bow and arrow? It can be a very useful weapon indeed, Tangusa. It may help us in our efforts to defeat the Diacos. Really? A simple weapon like this could help against such fierce warriors? Yes, Tangusa. When it comes to fighting Diacos, believe me, anything can come in handy. Yanez, my ship was heavily damaged during the battle, so right. we'll sail yours upriver to the fort. Our ship is much faster than the small Diaco boat, so with luck, we'll be able to reach the fort and attack the main force before it receives any warning of our approach. You men, I want you to stay here and keep a lookout for more Diacos. As soon as we've secured the fort, I'll send word that it's safe to join us upriver. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. Mm, I think it's time for a nap. Hmm? <laughs> Look at Malco. He's the only fellow I know who can sleep like a baby, even in Diaco territory. Well, that's right. But I'd sleep better if you didn't talk so loud. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? 
What are those lights ahead? Huh? Whatever they are, they're drifting straight at us! <laughs> Sandal Can, come quickly. Looks like we've got a big problem ahead of us. <laughs> this is looking worse and worse. Sandal Can, Yannis, hurry! I've never seen anything like this in my life. The whole river's full of flaming coconuts. What? Must be the Diagos who were chasing Tangusa. We're gonna have to sink those coconuts before they sink us. Men, get your rifles. Hurry! Don't stop till you get every one. Where are they all coming from? Huh? There's the answer to my question. Tangusa, give me your arrow. The bow? Here. That's it, San Biglione! I don't think those Diacos will trouble us again tonight, but keep your eyes peeled, man, just in case. Crackers, huh? come and perch on my shoulder, old friend. Ooh. I think we're getting close to the fort. It's just around that bend in the river. That smoke is from the campfires of the Diaco soldiers. Juro drop anchor will go ashore and attack them by land. Aye, aye. Mm. Thundercan, how can we be sure they aren't waiting to ambush us? That's a very good point, Yanez. Ah. Mm. We'll need someone to scout ahead and make sure they aren't expecting us, but who will volunteer for such a risky mission? Looking for a volunteer to scout out the Diaco? Sandu can't say no more. I'm the bird for the job. The jungle's so full of parrots, they'll never notice that I'm watching them. Uh -huh. Stay right here, Sandu can. As soon as I've scouted the Diacos and made sure they aren't preparing an ambush, I'll send you a signal that it's all clear to attack. Wait, what kind of a signal, Crackers? How will we know it's really from you and not an enemy trick? Oh, don't you worry about that, baby. When you see my signal, you'll know it's from me. Good old Crackers. He's always ready to take on a tough assignment. We've got to be ready to move out when we see his signal. Get your weapons, men. We're going ashore, and very soon you'll get the chance to teach the Diacos a lesson. It's been two days since Dankusa went out looking for someone to help us. He should have returned by now. I'm beginning to fear that the Diakos caught up with him. Don't say that, Tremelnik. Tangusa has to get help, because if he doesn't, we're all finished. But even if Tangusa didn't make it, we can defeat the Diakos without any help. You are courageous to say that, my friend. But the truth is, the Diakos have us outnumbered and outgunned. Our men are weak with hunger. If Tangusa does not return with help soon, then we have no choice but to surrender our fortress. <laughs> Stay alert, men. When we get the signal from Crackers, we'll have to be ready to move out fast. Mind doing me a big favor? There it is, men. Oh. Cracker signal. All right, men. You know what to do. Forward, attack the Diacos! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Sandokan did find help after all. And the help he found was none other than my friend Sandokan and his pirates of Mom Prasum. Tell the rest of the men the good news. Our fort has been saved, and it's thanks to Tangusa and Sandokan. <laughs> Here, another prisoner, Tangusa? Yes, huh. he gave up without much of a fight. Uh, uh, oh. All in a day's work. I'd say that pretty well takes care of the Diakos. Now, they'll think twice before attacking again. Now then, let's get up to the fort. I'm eager to see my dear old friend from Alnick. Prince Sandokan, you and your men came just in time. We'd given up hope and were about to surrender to the Diakos. And Tangusa, you're safe. Not only did they save our fort, but they also saved me from being captured. It was luck that brought us here. Luck and my friendship for you, Dramalnik. I only wish there was some way I could repay you for saving us, Prince Sandokan. Well, now that you mention it, there is something you can do. Both of our ships are damaged and short of supplies. Do you think you could give us what we need to repair and reprovision them? Of course, my friend. You shall have everything you need. Thank you, Dramalnik. We must leave for Labawan as soon as our ships are ready. But I shall not forget your kindness, and I hope we'll see each other again in the near future. Hooray for Sandokan! Hooray for Mariana, I insist that you stop this nonsense and open that door immediately. Oh, Baron, please go away. Just leave me alone. I've already told you I'll never marry you. Never! Baron William, I must apologize for the outrageous behavior of my niece. I've told her repeatedly that she couldn't hope to find a better husband than you, but she says her true love is Sandokan. Oh. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Well, I know exactly what to do, Lord James. I'm going to get rid of that pirate Sandokan once and for all. There's no other way to make Mariana understand that I, and I alone, am worthy of her hand in marriage. <sighs> Sandokan, your days are numbered. <laughs> Our friends are getting ready to set out on new adventures. They'll be facing new dangers in search of justice. The mysterious jungle will be the background for these new adventures. There, Sandokan will be lured into a trap. Don't miss the next exciting episode. <laughs>